In cosmochemistry, but also in geochemistry, we like to present data often in normalized plots. Now, normalization means that we use one rock and compare it to the composition of another rock. This other rock often is a standard rock, in cosmochemistry often a CI composition, CI chondrite. And if we then want to compare CV chondrites to CI chondrites, we normalize it, which means that we divide the composition of the CV chondrite by the composition of the CI chondrite. This is a normalization. And this is then what's called CV normalized to CI. But then we also make double normalization plots. In this case, we add an element and normalize it to an element, for example, to magnesium. And this is quite convenient if you want to compare certain elements directly to each other. So then we can see that on the y-axis, for example, it says normalize to CI and magnesium. Now thirdly, sometimes we can also read normalize to magnesium and CI. And then we might ask ourselves, is this something different or is it the same? Now to show how normalization works and whether there are differences or not, I will actually now um, make normalization here so you can really see how this works. Now here I put on uh, some compositions of a CV chondrite and of a CI chondrite for silicon, aluminum, magnesium and calcium. So this is the analysis. And in the first step I want to normalize this simply to CI. So this, the first one will be normalized to CI. In this case, as said, I simply divide the CV composition by the CI composition. So silicon of CV divided by silicon of CI. So, um, aluminum of CV, oops. Aluminum of CV divided by aluminum of CI and so on. I can then also copy this down. And this is then silicon, aluminum, magnesium, and calcium. Now this would be a simple normalization to CI. So we can plot this now and get a plot here. And this on the y-axis would now be said CV normalized to CI. Okay. So this is quite simple and straightforward. Now we want to also normalize it to magnesium. I do this in the next one here. So this will be normalized to CI and to magnesium. So what I do here is I take this analysis that's normalized to CI and divide it by magnesium. And this means that the silicon value, I take this silicon and divide it by magnesium. Then the aluminum I take the aluminum and divide it by magnesium. Now, for the magnesium, I take the magnesium and divide it by magnesium. Now, this is, um, yeah, it's true. Uh, this should be magnesium divided by magnesium. So this is one. And finally, calcium as well. I divide calcium by magnesium. So everything is divided by magnesium, including magnesium. This is why uh, in these normalizations, the normalizing element is always one. In this case here, by the way, I mean, I could also normalize um, CI by CI, then I would get, um, then I would get, that was not correct, so I would divide this by this, gives one, and I would divide uh, aluminum, I would divide aluminum by aluminum, get one, and this is how I get one for all the elements. So this is why in these normalization plots, if normalized to CI, CI itself would be on the one line. Um, and this is why here in this first normalized to CI, then normalized to magnesium, the CV is always on one. And of course, if I would make this also for the CI, this would again always be one because it's one, 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 one here. And if I then normalize it to magnesium, it would again be just one. So then I can um, plot this here. And this would then be the plot normalized to CI and magnesium. So this would be what would go on the y axis 
on this plot here. Now I said sometimes it says not normalized to CI and magnesium, but normalized to magnesium and CI. So is there any difference? So I put this here aside for a moment and then make this other calculation. So let's put this over here. Um, just for a second. And then we make the other calculation. So this time we normalize it first to magnesium. So what happens then? So I, it works the same as as uh, I as just showed. This would be dividing silicon by magnesium, then dividing aluminum by magnesium, dividing magnesium by magnesium, this should be one, and then dividing calcium by magnesium. So these are these four elements here. So now I have a um, good plot this again, so, but this is normalization to magnesium. Of course, I could also make it now for CIs, and in this case, because we didn't Previously, we normalized directly to CI, and CI divided by CI is always 1. But in this case, we normalized to magnesium. So this is CI silicon divided by magnesium, CI aluminum divided by magnesium, and so on. So therefore, there are also different values um, for CI. Now, the next step, we want to normalize to magnesium. That's what we already did. And to CI. And normalizing to CI means we divide CV by CI. So that's what I'm doing here. So I take silicon and divide it by CI. I take, al I take aluminum and divide it by the CI value and so on. And again, I can copy this down here and the elements. And I can compare it to the previous result. So this time here it says normalized to oops normalized to magnesium and CI, and here it says so I'm maybe color this a little bit. So this here says normalized to magnesium and CI, and this says normalized to CI and magnesium. Now the result is this one here for the first and this one, or for the second, and this was the result for the first. And as you can see, the result is exactly the same. So no need to worry. It doesn't matter if you want to, or if you read normalized to CI and magnesium, or any other element, silicon, for that matter, wouldn't change anything. If it says normalized to CI and magnesium, or normalized to magnesium and CI, it's exactly the same. And not only when you read it, it's the same, but also when you make the calculation, it's exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which step comes first here. And this is how the normalization works.